Volvo T13 engine test tries to mimic and prevent oil oxidation and viscosity increase. Lower oil oxidation means that the oil's viscosity remains steady, doesn't go up, which would hurt fuel economy. The oil won't break down and make deposits on engine parts, and the oil drain interval can be longer, less resources used, less expensive for routine maintenance. The test is run with the 2010 Volvo D13 or Mac MP8 engine platform, which is a 13 liter inline six cylinder diesel engine, which uses electronically controlled fuel injection, a variable geometry turbo, and cooled EGR along with ultra low sulfur diesel fuel. The test is 360 hours, where the engine runs at an elevated sump temperature of 130 degrees C, which has a way of accelerating oxidation processes that break down a lubricant. A passing test must have a minimal kinematic viscosity increase at 40 degrees C of less than 75% between 300 and 360 test hours, and a final oxidation carbonyl peak height, which is a measure of the infrared spectrum of the oil, of less than 125 absorbance units per centimeter. Lubricants can be used all over the globe when they have been formulated to meet the performance requirement from just ASEA, API, and a few key HD OEM manufacturers' specifications. The Volvo T13 engine test was first developed and introduced for the API CK4 and FA4 heavy-duty diesel specifications in 2016, and the test is currently included in ASEA E8, which replaces E6, and E11, which will replace E9 heavy-duty E sequences. The test was intended to address OEM concerns around rising engine operation temperatures that were needed to address decreased emissions and increased efficiency demands of modern engines. Through oil oxidation and viscosity control, the test ensures good fuel economy, low maintenance, and low emissions for engines on the road today and for future generations of engines, thereby contributing to sustainability for us all.